In the previous video, you saw that R is also known as a language for statistical computing. Data is the center of any statistical analysis, so let me introduce you to some of R's fundamental data types, also called atomic vector types. Throughout our experiments, we will use the function class. This is a useful way to see what type a variable is. Let's head over to the console and start with true in capital letters. True is a logical. That's also what class true tells us. Logicals are so-called Boolean values and can be either true or false. Well, actually NA, to denote missing values, is also a logical. But I won't go into detail on that here. True and false can be abbreviated to T and F respectively, as you can see here. However, I want to strongly encourage you to use the full versions true and false. Next, let's experiment with numbers. The values 2 and 2.5 are called numerics in R. You can perform all sorts of operations on them, such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and many more. A special type of numeric is the integer. It is a way to represent natural numbers like 1 and 2. To specify that a number is integer, you can add a capital L to them. You don't see the difference between the integer 2 and the numeric 2 from the output. However, the class function reveals this difference. Instead of asking for the class of a variable, you can also use the is.functions to see whether variables are actually of a certain type. To see if a variable is numeric, we can use the is.numeric function. It appears that both are numerics. To see if a variable is integer, we can use is.integer. This shows us that integers are numerics, but that not all numerics are integers. So there's some kind of type hierarchy going on here. Last but not least, there's a character string. The class of this type of object is character. It's important to note that there are other data types in R, such as double for higher precision numerics, complex for handling complex numbers, and raw to store raw bytes. However, you will have tons of fun working with numerics, integers, logicals and characters in the remainder of this introductory course, so we'll leave these alone for now. There are cases in which you want to change the type of a variable to another one. How would that work? This is where coercion comes into play. By using the s dot functions, one can coerce the type of a variable to another type. Many ways of transformation between types are possible. Have a look at these examples. The first command here coerces the logical true to a numeric. False, however, coerces to the numeric zero. We can also coerce numerics to characters. But what about the other way around? Can you also coerce characters to numerics? Sure you can. You can even convert this character string, 4.5, to an integer. But this implies some information loss, because you cannot keep the decimal part here. But beware. Coercion, as in converting data types, is not always possible. Let's try to convert the character hello to a numeric. This conversion outputs an NA, a missing value. R doesn't understand how to transform hello to a numeric and decides to return a not available instead. We already have the essentials on what R is, how to use its basic features and what are the most important data types you will encounter on your R quest. Now head over to the exercises and I'll see you in the next chapter.